For the straddle strategy, it involves two long positions, one in a call, okay, and the other is in a long put option. And for both of these options, it must be at the same strike. Okay. So the payout diagram will have the shape of a V okay, for a long straddle. And the center point here is where we have the exercise price of both options. So here we have two break-even prices. And then th this is the point of maximum loss. And then of course there's a, a maximum profit which is unlimited on the upside. And if the price falls, the maximum profit is the same as the one we talked about in the long put position. Let's consider a stock selling for $50. So there's a call option with an exercise price of $52 that costs $7. And a put option with an exercise price of $52 as well that's selling for $6. And let's say you implement a straddle strategy. So calculate the value of the position at expiration and the profit under the following outcomes if the price of the stock is $60 and $32. So let's construct the portfolio. So first we have a long call at a strike of 52. And then we have a long put option at a strike of 52 as well. So initially at time zero, when you buy the call, the value is seven. And when you buy the put, the value is six. So in this case, the initial value is $13. Now fast forward when the option expires in scenario A, if the spot price is $60, the call option can be exercised. So the payoff would be 60 minus 52. So we get $8. The put option is out of the money. So the value of the straddle strategy is $8. And the gain is $8 minus $13, which is negative 5. So instead of a gain, it's a loss of $5. Now what happens if the price is $32? under scenario B. So the long call will be out of the money, but the long put will be in the money. So if you exercise the put, the payoff will be 52 minus 32. So we get $20. So the value of the straddle strategy will be $20. And again, will be the change in the value, 20 minus 13. So that's $7. Now for the maximum profit, uh, you have to be careful depending on whether you are doing the level 2 or the level 3 exam. Okay, now if you are doing the level 3 exam, the answer for the maximum profit is infinity. Okay, because they only consider the upside, which is if the price goes up. Now, if you're in level 2, the maximum profit depends on the direction of the price. So, of course, if the price is increasing, okay, let's say if the call is in the money, then the maximum profit will be infinity. But if you are, if the price is declining, that means the put option is in the money, then the maximum profit will be different. So in this case, if we assume that the price drops all the way to zero, okay, which is a theoretical lowest point. So if it's zero, okay, then the put call option will be out of the money, but the put option will be in the money. So that's uh, the payoff is 52 minus zero. So that's $52. So the value of the straddle is 52. So your gain will be 52 minus $13. So your gain will be $39 on the downside, okay, if the price were to fall. So for level two, they will have two different maximum profit. One is when the price increases, okay, and of course, uh, if the price were to decrease, then your maximum profit will be $39 if the price stock price drops all the way to zero. Okay, this is only for level two. For level three, maximum profit is infinity. The loss will be maximum if the spot price is equals to the exercise price. As we can see at this point, okay, this is the point of maximum loss. So if the spot price is equals to the exercise price, so the call option will be out of, at the money and the put option will also be at the money. So the value of the straddle is zero. So in this case, the gain will be 0 minus 13. So that's negative 13. So your maximum loss here is $13. There are two break-even prices for the straddle. So we'll do it in two parts. So let's say for the first one, the lower break-even price, let's call this S1. 
So when the price is equals to S1, the put option will be in the money. We can exercise it. So if the spot price is equals to S1, so the call option will be out of the money, but the put option will be in the money. So the payoff will be 52 minus S1. So the value of the straddle is 52 minus S1. So our gain will be the difference in the value. So that's 52 minus the break-even price minus the initial value. So that's equals to zero. So in this case, your S1 is equals to 52 minus 13. So that's $39. So that's the first break-even price. That's 39. Okay. Or you can try it out if it's uh if you put in 39 here. So 52 minus 39 will be $13. So if the ending value is 13 minus 13, so you have a gain of zero. Okay. And then for the second break-even price, we call this S2. At this point, the call option will be in the money. So if I exercise the call, so let's set this as S2. So if the call is in the money, so that's S2 minus 52. Put option is out of the money. So the value of the straddle is S2 minus 52. So if we just continue the workings here, so the gain is a difference in the value. So that's S2 minus 52 minus 13. That's is equal to zero for the break even point. So the second break even price would be 52 plus 13. So that's 65. Okay, so this is $65. Now, an easier way to remember is just to take the initial value, okay, and then just take the exercise price 52 plus minus 13. So you can get these two prices here.